Look, I think that um, what we've been doing at the Monash University XYX Lab is to really think about how data is important to this idea of accountability. So we've um, written about this in the article, but that is that to really kind of collect data from women and girls is to surface their experience. And what we then do with that data is incredibly important because it allows us to leverage women's stories um, to make stakeholders, governments, politicians accountable for what's happening for women and girls. So I think that gathering that data is a way that we can really think about um, the kinds of conflicts that women face in cities. And then because often for politicians, um, women's experiences can be a bit vague or a bit fuzzy, the data actually really gives them something quite concrete to understand. Um, it's, it's inarguable in lots of ways. And so that really helps us to make politicians accountable for the, for the research that we're, we're doing with, with women and girls. I think it's a really interesting time. The, um, my disciplinary background is as an architect and urban researcher. And so we've seen quite radical changes with public spaces and the use of public spaces. And I'm sure um, it's the same where you are. I'm, I'm in Australia, in Melbourne, we're in lockdown. Um, and so there's something very critical about gathering information about this time. I think for a while we thought it might be a, a short term and a, a short term kind of thing. And we're increasingly very aware that this is not going to end anytime soon. So the research lab that I work in is really thinking about how we can gather data about this very transitional time. Um, we know that we're using spaces in a different way, particularly in terms of recreation and particularly in terms of public transport, for example, they've shifted a lot. So if we can really start to understand what's happening, we can think about the different transitions. Um, certainly violence against women is not going away. We're seeing that increase in domestic situations. But I think that also that idea of harassment and sexual harassment, which speaks to this particular issue, is going to be really important for us to capture. So we're really doing what we've always done, which is to gather women's stories, get the data together, and really use that to help us make sure that we've got the right policies in place in this very changed landscape. Look, I think that um, at this time, collective action is absolutely critical to how we're going to think about inequity in cities and societies. So, um, you know, there's a lot of discussion at the moment that this particular time is really drawing out the incredible inequities that do exist. I mean, you know, it's just, it's polarising um, the, the people, um, the haves and the haves not, if you like. So I think that this idea that we really need to kind of work together and think about what our shared story is, to think about what, um, how together we can, we can come together to think about what we want this new landscape, um, to speak metaphorically, to look like as we move through this is incredibly important. And none of us can do that individually. We have to do that um, thinking and um, designing, if you're like me, a designer together. Uh, and I think that that kind of collectivity is incredibly important. And that's where we see really great political things happen. And so that's what that's what, what I think it's important. Hopefully this issue will contribute to that.